In this video, I'm gonna show you how to use joystick and servo motor without using Arduino or any other microcontroller. This joystick actually is nothing more than two potentiometers. The first one is for X axis and the second one for Y axis. In the normal situation, when you release the joystick, both potentiometers will be at the middle point. But when you move in the joystick to the left side, for example, you turn the first potentiometer to the left side, but the second potentiometer stay at the middle. And when you move in the joystick to the right side, you turn the potentiometer to the opposite direction. The same thing happens with the second potentiometer when you move in the joystick in other axis. By connecting your battery or power supply to these two potentiometers, you can as a voltage divider. I set my bench power supply to 6 volt and connect it to the joystick. As you can see here, in the normal situation, when I release the joystick, the output voltage is 3 volt. But by moving the joystick up and down, the voltage become higher or lower than 3 volt. The same thing happened for the other axis. This is my circuit. I'm using window comparator and edge bridge to drive the motor. When you switch down this circuit, the voltage here will be 2 volt and here 4 volt. And the voltage that coming from the joystick before moving will be 3 volt. In that case, the output of both up amps will be high, because the voltage at non-inverting input is higher than the voltage of inverting input. So these two transistors are switched on and the motor not moving, because the voltage difference across the motor is 0 volt. But by moving the joystick to the left side, the output voltage from the joystick increasing, let's say 5 volt. In that case, the output of the first up amp will be low, because the voltage at inverting input is higher than the voltage at non-inverting input. But the output of the second up amp will be high, because the voltage of non-inverting input is higher than the voltage of inverting input. So these two transistors are switched on and the motor shaft start spinning. By moving the joystick to other direction, the motor start to move in backwards. This circuit, however, using for one axis. If you need two axes, you have to make another identical circuit. I used ICLM324 because it has four op amps inside. To use in servo motor without microcontroller, you have to solder two wires directly to the motor inside. So you can run in the motor inside by connecting your battery or power supply to it. I connect them to my circuit and as you can see it works well. You can use the servo motors with a bracket like this one. I print it by using my 3D printer. It could be useful, for example, to move in the camera. I also connect it to my old solar tracker project. It has different motors, like this. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.